How do you spell fascist, Charlie? Look, come on, Bolton. We've got to get to class. Yeah, yeah, in a minute. And this fascist. Uh, Bolton. Yeah, chill out, Charles. What are you doing, Bolton? I'm oh, just helping out the new student, sir. Charlie here's a bit of a stranger to the net, so I was just showing him around. Oh, Charlie. You're a novice, eh? Uh, yes, sir. Well, that comes as a bit of a surprise. I thought you were a straight A's computing student. Well, he was always so busy and interested in actually computing that he never got around to surfing the net. So you've never used the internet? Uh, no, uh, I guess I never got around to it. But well, you don't have an email address? Come on, Charlie, it's your last chance. All you've got to do is be straight with me and you're home free. Hey? Oh, fine, OK. Well, that's a week's detention for both of you. And, Charlie, you lose your internet privileges until further notice. Think about it. Sorry. This whole thing is getting out of control. Look, you just keep your mouth shut or you're a dead man, all right? Don't think so, Bolton. Bolton, Bird, outside, please. Everyone else, get your assignments ready to be collected. I'm giving you an extra week's detention. You can't go around pressuring students. Are you for real? Don't push me, Bolton. Look, did you see me pressuring him? Did you see me forcing? That's three weeks' detention. Charlie, I'm reinstating your net privileges as of this afternoon. Thank you, sir. In the future, don't let him push you around, eh? You're dead. Maybe I should wait till there's a few more members. Charlie, would you stop being a wuss? Here's your chance to stand up and be counted. You with me? Abbots. Bolton. Yeah. Bird. Hey. Bird. Charlie not here? Yeah, he'd be around in a sec, so he's just uh, checking up on his makeup. What? Nothing. <laughs> OK, today we're going to start a new project. It's going to be a trial run for your major assignment at the end of term. Ah, uh, so a little bit of tech for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. OK, OK, settle down. Charlie, is there a point to this? Uh, yes, sir. It's, um... No idea. He, uh, got sucked in, Charlie. Uh, no, sir. No reason at all. Well, I suggest you go and wash it off before it stains your skin permanently. Um, I tried, but it, it won't come off. <laughs> Try the art rooms, Charlie. They'll have some solvents. Hurry up, we've got a lot to get through. Did you put him up to this belt? Me, sir? No. I don't get into that sort of thing. No. <laughs> okay, the aim of this project is to see how the creative side and the marketing side of a business are essential to each other. Like, there's no point having a great idea if you don't know how to sell it. So you guys find yourselves a partner and decide between you who is going to market and who is going to create. The theme is recycling. Thursday the 17th, this period, we'll be having a special presentation. You will present your ideas, products, whatever, together with your sales pitch. Okay? Any problems? See me now. If you're wise, you will boltonize. Good slogan. What's the product? I don't have a clue. Welcome to this afternoon's class, okay? Thanks. The place is buzzing with this project of yours. <laughs> Have you thought of making the presentation public? Nurturing young talent is very important. We could invite some people from the Chamber of Commerce. Parents, friends. Sounds like a great idea. We should get the press involved. It'd be good to show Generation X in a positive light for a change. Yeah, it'd be, be great publicity for the school too. You have something against that? No, no, not, not at all. No. Good. And you should find a special venue for the presentation, not just have it at school. OK, I'll look into it. Good. Great. Who's the principal's pet then? <laughs> <laughs>